Bonjour watcher, this is Johnny Mega 45 and welcome back to Cost Party Book of Shadows. In the last episode, we have done chapter 6. Finally. Yeah, finally. We have done chapter 6. So now we're going to a new chapter. A new chapter. Which is food. Uh the final chapter I think. Yeah, I think. Okay, food. So before we start, as usual, I will give a brief summary of what, what is food. Food is the seventh episode. It's the meat food for post party. It features Coco Kirisaki, who is looking for an exit. So she and her friends from Byakuda Senior High School can escape. Oh, Byakuda Senior High School. This is Kizami. Yeah, Kizami cosplay, obviously. Yeah, Kizami cosplay. And of course, <coughs> among the cosplay we met, which is Mizuki, Koroi, Kurosaki. Who else, huh? Who else? Ah, Amy Urabe. I think that's mostly part of it. And there's another three or four guy in this chapter two. Yeah. Well, the big quote means that it happened really at the middle of the where Satoshi and the others are having facing obviously some post speaking. I think this is where Toko hey, do her role. So yeah, let's start. Okay, let's start. Without further ado, let's just finish this chapter and books of shadows once and for all. Biakuda Senior High School Student Council Room 4:30 p.m. Oi, Seto Kaicho. Ashita da zo. Hmm? Nani ga da? Keri irete i? What? Kyakka. Nani ga aru nda ashita? No! ほら生徒会室で暴力行為は禁則と定めたろ知るもんか忘れてる方が悪いもんあだやめなきゃこちらに火があるなら謝罪するまず聞く聞こうじゃないかこーこーこの部屋の徹底掃除だよ見てこれ何これ片付けろっつうの何この玉玉入れのやつじゃん体育祭いつだったよああそういえばそんなことを言っていたかいったいスタッキングポッコライプリーズ忘れてたでしょいや記憶はしていた僕もみつきの意向には普通にしゃべれ<笑>ああ忘れてたさ俺だっていろいろ考えることがあって忙しかったんだよ会長だからって何でもかんでもみんな俺んとこ持ってくるしさわ悪かったなうん許すああ that's just cute <笑>なんだしょきとしての進言ですたまには言い訳くらいしたほうがいいよ男らしい生徒会長もかっこいいけどさみつきだが戦線離脱は許さないからな逃げられると思うなよえわかったわかんねえやつだなトモヒロミンコは俺の嫁どっつってんだろおしミンコいや譲らないぞ涼介にはナナさんって人がいるだろダマタとかマジないわナナグどっちみんなナフォンデアディアデスクールバカ3人からモテて初めてリア充だろ上皇わあわあプレイボーイは片山 I like you even though your appearance looks so freaking ugly 楽しそうだねそれゲームおお山本
お前もやるタッチペンでグリグリしてチューするゲーム女の子3人と付き合えるぜ何ハマるのはいいけど一人に絞れ行ってあんたら明日のこと覚えてるんだろうね hey, say something. ああああああああああああ I had no idea any of this was going on in the student council room that day. I had other things on my mind. Specifically, a certain boy. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention. Toko Kirisaki likes Yuyaki Dami. y a k u r a s i n high school, class 2 4 after school. My name is Toko Kirisaki. <laughs> I just love Toko Kirisaki in Byakudai High School. I've been waffling, waffling for quite some time on whether or not to say anything, but finally I decided to bite the bullet and ask his best friend, Kurosaki. Well, unfortunately, Toko, Kizam, Yuya say that Kurosaki is not his best friend. Nene, Yuya, is there a friend? あ,いやあいつ今フリーだと思うのなんでうん,うん狙っちゃおっかなーなんてマジおおいいじゃん応援するよああああでもあいつなー女の子といてもいっつもつまんなそうにしてるから付き合えても切り裂きがあんまり楽しくないかもしれないうんでも確かにゆうやってモテるわに手とか全然出してこないって女子はみんな言ってるなそれって悪い印象クリーンなイメージおー This was the first time to cross up to go now you ya love to tell me pretty much all of his life I think I talked to him for all the information I need in my talk fight since he was pretty much guaranteed to know you ya state in this study And so far things seem to be going really well I mean not only did I talk for you ya was the same anyway but I got his best friend's blessing too He really wanted to show me how precious we had died. He d o e s e n t me just fine. Kurosaki! Kora! a k i m i s u k i like Kurosaki. We! Those people are understandable in the other s t a f for my work as a c o o r d i n a t o r agitated female voice that suddenly r i g h t out from behind his head. いや。俺今日部活だって言ったじゃんおいフクロイなあ逆らうなもう無理だええフクロイフクロイフクロイフクロイフクロイフクロイフクロイフクロイフクロイフクロイフクロイフクロイフクロイフクロイフクロイ Wife at the lady, fully prepared to bring divine punishment upon all those who oppose her. He was like, it was easier just to give in. 
これ生徒会じゃないのに。楽になった気がするよかったどうするみんなのところに戻るひざと大腿部の関節を縛った。失血は抑えられるはずだ。足も。持ってきてるから心配するな島だいやデスレイガイ島だおしっかいシッカーオケーアイウォッポユーシッカーオノワネトポーナイ
because she's gay in life. Okay? We were in there all night, she ran down and probably condemned school very and none of us knew how we got here. No, it was great. Yeah, it was. None of us knew. I just came back for the first go away. Amy, I have to lose my life. But you got Okawa Katayama and she went away. So all our way was just an absolute bloodbath after what had happened. The whole hallway was an absolute bloodbath. Poor oh, Katayama, what some kind of movie is that? And half the right there to look off from the next shell. How is this someone? How is this somebody supposed to end a situation like this? Why did this have to happen? Has to happen at all? なんで罠とか仕掛けてあるんだ。つが、どこだよここ。ざけんなよ。いや、そうそう、ベスナラはウィーガイス。ちょっと。で、ティ、ルゴス、サスペンバイ、ゲッダイ。静かにしてよ。
How could you force a girl to go, Shibata? It's such a good catch for that. She wanna practically spite his eyes at her. I hate people like him. Sure, he had a pretty face that basically all he had. So people like him for some models, best girls, but they're not good for much else. He's got a lot of girls, not too, but I'm not one of them. I can never get past his uprising. Like that's all for me when he tries to act that way. That's all for me when he tries to act that way. Not that I don't advise to be for me that I'm not. I try to do it myself whenever I can. But there's a difference between forcefully and speaking in a way that meets others. He did not speak to them. She was mentioned to be the poor and uncaring. I'm going to go! I'm going to go! I will go too. I will cover you. Yuya! Oh, Yuya, you are such a handsome man. I just love this guy. What a difference, like night and day. I'm old people like him don't make flip and remarks. They just met out and get stuff done. I was pushing on him harder than ever because not, not only did I gain, he was both cool and hot. I also get a ton more respect for him. Well, later on, that respect is disappear instantly when you are trying to kill you, Coco. Oops, I spoiled. My bad. Hey, you don't have to go with all the people. If you go, you will have to go with one more. How do you do? Any status? Don't silent no huh? Everyone just look at one another and look at away as if they were ashamed of themselves. This is... This is... I don't want you. I don't want you to follow me. You are stupid. Oh. First, I think you should have to come up because of that. I never did it. I'm so on. Finally, the side was talking about an unstable person. I don't know who I was. Alexa! I'm going to tell you! Stay here! いいの。調子の切り裂きさんが行くって言ってるのに。俺。Oh, so これは、陽介についてる。じゃあ、行こう。急がないと、片山マジで危ないし。うん。Was I scared? You bet I was scared, but in a situation like this, everyone has to work together. And as long as I had any willpower left in me, I wasn't about to give up. Well, unfortunately, you will give up after Yuya betrayed you. Plus, it didn't hurt that Yuya was with me, so I knew everything was going to turn out just fine. Oh, we controlling Toko Chan. Go, Let's go! Okay, where should we go? <laughs> they want to check the stairway, right? So we go here. Toko is cute, guys. Toko is cute. Why I say Toko is cute? I like a girl with a ponytail. You hear me? Where should we go? Yeah, see, Katayama. Easy, sir. Leg is sir. So why don't we try? The nurse room. Even though nurse room is not a very good idea at all.
The word inflammatory was written on the plate above the door. Somehow the whole room was just felt like it would be dessert. I was utterly confident about that. Not sure why I felt that way, to be honest, but for good measure, I shout. Is anybody in there? We still hadn't found Mitsuki after all. <laughs> I didn't hear a call back though. So really, we had no business in this room whatsoever. Wait, was that a key stick sticking out of the lock? Who would have locked the door but left the key? What would be the point? Oh, nanda kore? Tobira ni kagi sasatte ruze. Nani shiten no? Don't open the door. Naka ni bakemon demo itara taihen daro? Dete kore nai yo ni shite yatta. No, don't lock it. Sono kagi, dou suru no yo? Obviously, I will enter in this room when ghosts chase me. I'm going to lock myself in that room and then die miserably. Timada, that is not a good thing you should do. Pain in the ass. Shit, da. Was such a pain in the ass. I really could stand the time. Oh! <laughs> Are you still holding a key? Stop throwing it. Sky, wakatta kara yamete. ここ天井高いな。よし。ふっ。な、ああ、どこ行った？え、you lost the key. Well done. You are such a shit だ。まあいいや。知らね。I don't give a shit. I love your word. And now the emergency was cut off from us if we needed it. Brilliant. Izami just shut up. Just silent. Shokoguchi, shokoguchi, da! Yatta, derare. I rush over the door. Hopefully, you're afraid. No, it might not open. But praying this horrid place will show us at least a little mercy, mercy. Gingerly, I raise my hands and push on it, and it's real. <laughs> For hours, without even the slightest sensation, it seems almost crazy. It was unnaturally the outside door, and the rain was coming down so hard that picking my hair out from the other moment left my uniform completely stuck. She might have pushed past me, throwing the door open, even widening with his usual lack of regard for anyone and anything around him. My clothes went off from. Short to drag in the matter of seconds. If I were actually walk into it, I feel like I drown. Nanda kore ya? Makura da zo. Mori? Hidoi yame. Konna naka soto ni dete itta ra fuku bisho nure ni nari zo. Soria, mite mite na. What? You want to see me? Kedo, soto ni derareru koto wa wakatta ne. Hey, are you trying to kill me? Or are you trying to seduce Toko? Ne, you ya. Despite ours, however, we found a way out. You just give me or has to change a bit. He was standing back by the hall where he could watch over us while also keeping an eye out for anyone else who might happen by the model of maturity. Shimada, on the other end, tried to seduce Toko. Gambare yo! Ora mo derzo! Uh, what? You go by yourself? You leave us? Huh? Wow! You are more selfish than that stupid Katayama! No. A dick. Yes, a dick. I can't believe I'm. Oh my god, why am I saying this YouTube channel? This video is totally gonna get blocked by violating by the usage of bad words. Konna wa kya kanne tokoro? 
とっとと出るに限るぜ。片山のところになんか戻らねえよ。ははは、スクリューディアディス、アイワードヒア。レジェンド、ジェスライドウェイ。Well said, shit da. And goodbye, shit da. This is will be the last time we see shit da. Okay, no more spoilers. No more spoilers. マジで言ってるあーったりめえだバーカ脳なしから順番に死ぬようになってるんだよあんな奴ら放っとけよはあびっくりいいんだこんなやつよう切り裂きお前も来いよ No, I'm staying with you ya The thud in his voice said it odd. He hit the ultimate blow. After betting his friend to save his own height, he was now basically propose, propositioning me. Oh, man, you are. Shinda Hoshkunainda. My car, Dajin, you're more to the car, sir. Oh, Shinda, who really liked Toko Kirisaki? But unfortunately for you, Toko loved Yuya. With an obviously rehearsed and truly sickening pickup line. <laughs> It really was the snipe ball to the end, all snipes balls. SINJIRANNAI! NANI OMAE! KOTCHI MINNA YO! I couldn't believe he had a nerve to push something like this. I felt that maybe h a s been the first time I ever truly yelled at someone. I was, I was absolutely livid. And he wasn't even done. No, he still had plenty of salt left to throw in the wood. What? You just say me ugly bitch. Fuck you, shit, da. Fuck you. Don't you dare call my Toko bitch. I was going to do it. Don't do it. What a shit, da, you are. You are shit, da. My hair was swinging, I was scared, I was angry, I was sad. Even that every negative was brought to the floor f r o n t and every positive emotion pushed away. I didn't look back, I just turned away from Shimana, walk over to Yuya's side, and continue passing into the hallway. <coughs> Yuya had been watching all of this unfold from the other side of the room, and for the moment he just stood there, staring back at, back at shit da. Ah?、Uh -huh. 何見てんだよ消えろよ、ノーメンやろう。わ、look at him! He's so calm and collected! And the most important t h i s he's handsome! What the heck? Oh, he's shit da! He drew a large knife from his breast pocket. i s t i l l struggle to blister in the dark light of the room, but he did ultimately succeed! He began waving around here like a dumbass, probably because he made him look more menacing. Miro, you could have. Kino Katanda. Sky so that all? Iro, Iro. You know, give me the knife. Shit, da. I will end your life. It's what Izami wants to say. Oh, my, a honto new Mosiroina. What? あいつ女十人くらいいるんだよ。信じられる？何が大事に思ってたよ。どんだけ女の子バカにしてんの？マジ許せない。How low I will be the most yeah for all women in here. I was indignant. I was fuming. I was just keep cursing and mumbling as I first walked back to the third floor to meet up with the others. I was indignant. And all that while you was keeping pace with me, saying nothing at all. Always the model of maturity is always even tempted. He really was like a rock. Or maybe. Maybe he found my muttering and noise and was so keep so quiet, so I would do the same. Didn't like the possibility. That possibility won't be so. I mentally slapped myself on the cheek, possibly positive in my voice, and tried to engage him in a cheery banter. Yuya, some of the things, 
女の子を傷つけたこと一回もないでしょ。See? A very handsome man. This is y u y a k i z a m i 超モテるのに悪い噂聞いたことないもん。ある意味すごいよ。I look him square in the eyes as if asking him, isn't that right? And for the moment, his eyes did met mine, but then they went back right to the, right back to the hall. Hmm, for his sister, I used to receive compliments from women that seems hard to believe. I'm not sure what you mean. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, I think cute right now, Kizami Yuya. Oh, Yuya Kizami. What a cute, innocent response. And then, Katayama died already. I must have come across as I love by, by Paula to him or something. One sec, I tried to lighten the mood with small thoughts of compliments. And then I started to feel scared of this girl and again angry or angry at Shimada or sad for Katayama. My mind, I, my mind just couldn't make out its mind what to feel. It's not i n t e r m i n o l o g y just anyone says, Emir、hey, yeah, Okawa won't even look at me, not at you, yeah, but at Takayama. They were fixed on his face and each p o r e a sad, hopeless, empty expression, and they certainly weren't about to get moving. <laughs> Emir、hey, Okawa died. There was a general heaviness in the air, something was very wrong. Something was very wrong. Indeed. I gently reached out of my hand and, and touched Amy's shoulders. しゃべらなくなったよどうしよう。ようすけ。おかわ、if you love him so much, why don't you just die also? Go die with him, stupid. Emmy's eyes were filled with tears. おかわ、too, was c r y i n g to look at your eyes and l o o k like he's been crying this whole time. His eyes were bright red and his nose was burning. You are still saying nothing, just walk over to Katayama's side. Ben died, began examining him. She's good. He's so the whole guy. The fool was silently, but I animously agreed that our best person of action was to pick Katayama's and bring him up to the SMB discovered. And we had to be very, very quick about it, or he really would die. I could tell just by looking at him that his time was almost up. Kizami, come on. Sell it. ああ背に乗せるのを手伝ってくれ涼介頑張れみんなが助けてくれるぞ
as this was all and this was all going on ahead and then he feels like I was forgetting something. Of course, it's okay. We have to go find her, we couldn't just leave her behind after all. <laughs> yes, I agree. So, he didn't even have to say anything this time. His eyes told the whole story, got it. I know I can trust you with this task. They say. And that was enough for me. I shot off down the uh, hell all like a bullet. I was determined to find Mr. K and rejoin everyone in the <laughs> I hurry down to the second floor. Uh, let me tell you something, Toko Kirisaki. It was a mistake leaving Emir and Okawa with Katayama. You know why? You know why? Later, Kizami killed Katayama and also Okawa. So, I cannot believe I said a spoiler again. Okay, let's continue. When Mr. K's voice is coming down from even farther down, I had to keep going on to the first floor ahead, ahead of the others. This is really a long scene. The sound is very scary. I just want to sit here. Down, right? So we go down. <laughs> in this chapter because this is chapter about Byakudan High School okay it's a mid school or obviously why go back here oh shit one way or another we're going to make it out of this school all of us together uh, what should I do now I got the food. Saki, Mitsuki no koi ga kikoita basho kara kangaeru to. Kore i jou saki da to kikoi nai yo ne. Modatte mi yo. Okay, go back. So we go back here, right? What's wrong? <clears throat> if I keep running in circles like this, I never find out I was in the state of panic and I was allowing it to steer my path. Frustrated with the situation and with myself for choosing to give my head back empty and I forced myself to stop. I was going to do what I should have done in the first place. Call out Mitsuki stay at with everything I had in me and hope she responds. Mitsuki! Mitsuki! Doko! Minna iruyo! Don't lie, Doko. Shit that is not with you. No answer. Just the cold lonely sounds of the rain and wind bearing down on this old dilapidated building. Let's get a move on. This may be a fairly large school, but sound travel. Well, in here, if she were anywhere in this hallway, I'm sure she would have heard me. And if she were just here only minutes ago, she definitely should have been around here. Would something have happened to her? Mitsuki! Uh, go back, right? Yeah, I can go back. Let's 
Let's go back here. I think they have no idea what to do. Wrong end here. Obviously. So we gotta continue with the quick safe, right? Yeah, quick safe. Step away, please. God, why now? We go sitting right at the front of the stairs, how am I supposed to get back out for the third floor? I want to meet my friend, why you stay there? Trying to help me? What? What the hell was that? Why it just appear in front of me? <laughs> and we need to talk to the ghost. Throw the loose of it. You're not a bit too right here against your will, no? <laughs> Well, I'll tell you now, there's no escape from this pool. There is nothing to be gained here by this bed, so if you got an eye away, you might be able to survive for a little while at least. Here, you should have this. You have to keep the wandering spirits at bay, throw it only once once. So take it, get out there and fight like hell. Stay alive as long as you can possibly can. The speedman is my lie on the floor below where I mean was a gem stored. Specifically a violent collector gems for probably an amethyst. <sighs> so I can use that to keep the wandering the spirit at bay one time, huh? I will get him and the full body once, or it will keep him at bay too. So the way you did that, I felt like I could actually get back to my face and I will size all this once they spend all this for the <laughs> Of course, you also said that there is no escape from here, but it was prerogative to believe what I wanted to be at it, or what I was going to say. So, we are the captain's dog. You have to say first. So, yeah, I'm coming here, yeah. 
Pray for me. You ya. Okay, it's cute, good. Don't shoot at me, guys. I know. I know. Don't need to say a word. I know. Let's go. Come back. I bring you a present. Use this. <laughs> and is following me and proceed to spirit. I can't we actually were about the ghost and the giant fader and disappear. The stairways was now free to be traversed. And then something shit happened. I think Emmy ran after this. <laughs> Amy! Toko also don't know what to do anymore, Amy. Amy and I could stay near the body. We gone down to the second floor where we pick a corner and just stood there try to recompose ourselves. Toko! You couldn't you cannot do that! Later Yuya will kick the, out of that corpse. We'll see later on. Yuya elected to stay with Oka on the third floor, I guess, to try and break him 
from his shot and help put some distance between him and Katayama. None of this felt real, or maybe I just didn't want it to be real. It was a nightmare. It had to be. I just sit up in my bed, it would be all over. <coughs> because of you, Amy! Because of fucking you! I'm not working, I don't get it. Face it, Toko. You are really in this school. Huh? And why you suddenly lose a smile? Are you so are you consumed? I don't know. Now you scared back. What the heck? <laughs> my energy was very again. I shank to the ground. I landed on my knees. And we followed my lead and put an arm around him, around me for comfort. My friend just died. He just died. God, why? Did I hear a footstep? Amy and I look at each other, we both heard them. Footsteps coming down the hallway. It was too dark to make out yeah, who it was, but the gate was decided to leave mail. The two of us slowly and quietly lost our feet. I around the corner and picked up, both terrified and curious as to what or what we might see. A giant man! Who the fuck was that? Then, the other door, the figure finally came to view. It was the tallest man, unsteadily titillated as he slowly strode towards us. Oh! Hit that! Yeah! I told you guys! Sit that is going to die at some point. I wonder what happened to him when he go up into the forest. Yes, it was shit that trench from head to toe. Shimadaku! <laughs> he was stabbed very <coughs> brutally. Close your eyes! Huh? Amy shot forward, intent to run towards him, but I grabbed her arms and held back her back, even without even thinking about it. She turned and looked at me with a puzzled expression. Yes, he is sexual harass me. She looked back at me again, she said this. <laughs> then right to my eyes in an almost disciplinary manner. It was the perfect gift that I still have a succumb to it, feeling bad for not having feel her in about the Shimada incident. <sighs> Toko, I know, as much as you hate that guy, you must like him. Shimano continued his blow, wet walk down the hallway, then all of a sudden, for no discernible reason, he simply fell forward, landing hard on his knees. Something was wrong with him, and while I looked the man, I didn't want to see him suffer. Amy and I were both poised to rush to his aid. When the other figures randomly began peeling all around, figures of children, blue and ethereal, shivering with their own light. What? Spirits! <coughs> we could barely even see Shimano from our vantage point anymore, as his body was obscured almost completely by the back of these ghost children. Oh, no wonder he was scared start on at that moment. At the moment, Shimano was dry wet. I think he was hurt or something? He was a movie dog, so he didn't seem like they would do anything to him. 
But then he wasn't moving at all, which seems highly suspicious. It occurred to me that maybe we should try to save him. No. I each forward he was still in exactly the same position I mean, where we fell to is this. He really he literally hadn't moved at all. Had not moved at all. Was he unconscious? Even I look at one another and another, it was a silent signal to move forward and do whatever we could to help. The children vanish as we approach us, revealing a horrific sight. Shimada stops as we play wide open. He was dead. That sword. Oh yeah, the, the one sword that he showed to Yuya. Not sword, a knife. The knife he flaunted earlier was just from the wood. It was almost a ceremony of that. Like, it was like that of the samurai who threw himself on his sword. <laughs> Um, you two, why don't you two speak together? Then try it. I already see it twice over. I was scared. I was fed or not. I was shaking and crying and screaming inside. I was deadly afraid that something else would show up, and then it did. <laughs> what? Whoa! He was a little girl in a red dress standing between us and the third floor staircase. Hi, Sachiko. Long time no see. Oh yeah, of course, Sachiko is the mastermind of all of it. Thank you, Sachiko. Thank you. I could make out an expression on her face through her bangs, but I could really feel the hatred in her eyes as she stared. That was bold. And she turned around and slid out the stairways into the third floor hallway. No! She's such a cute. Okawai Katayama. <laughs> Amy crying really bad. Amy was turned out of the way, so she hadn't seen the girl at all. She eventually follow our guest friend by that time, even though it was fun, even more girl. That particular apparition looked a lot in the body of the ghost. I see, but there was a little doubt in my mind. She was definitely a ghost. Okawa-kun, I'll take you to the next one. I'll take you to the next one. Mate! 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 Mate!
know why I want to hear Mate. You just say, you just say his word, right? Mate! Haha, <laughs> Mate! Kiken da, Koko de Mate. <笑>ドコ Yeah, that's right. Shit happened. Izami snap. Yuya Kizami has snap. What was going on? Why was Amy screaming? I can hear a voice argument now. I can hear somewhere. Amy and Okawa were having a heated arguments. Mario! Oh, you stupid gay people! You gay Okawa, leave your gay Katayama behind. He died already. Oh, don't worry, don't worry. Yuya is here to solve problems. Leave him and run, we'll get caught. <coughs> that ghost girl must have been pursuing them. I think that was just a corpse, yeah. Holy shit, Katayama was spawned and ceremony on the land that went out to the top of Uruwong in Okayama, Okawa. Look at me, very scared. I just have a face. I'm sorry, but this has to be. And look at Okayama died. Oh, obviously, she, he died already. She. Wow, you throw both of them at the same time? Wow, Yuya, you are really super power. That's why I like Yuya Kizami the most. This Sorry, I'm, I, if I talk too much. Well, this is the last chapter, so I like to talk as much as I can. At the top of the stairs, two semis, and in front of her, Yuya, we are imposing skull on his face. I didn't understand any of this. What had just happened? What had just happened? Oh, yeah, later, Amy got separate in his, if I'm not mistaken. And then that's where Mr. Ken Fukuroi met her. <coughs> yeah, let me let out this girl came running towards me down the stairs. Okawa then seems to as if he had fallen and broken his arm. <laughs> Okawa, are you ready to die? Go with your game people, Katayama. Go with your game people. He was looks kind of crawling towards me. He was almost I think he was trying to distance himself from you, yeah. <laughs> I went to the face of the stairs to meet up with Amy. I needed some sort of contact here. Amy! Nani! Don't stand up! Nigero! Nigero! Horo Oh, 
I glanced out and Yuya but his face was shrouded in darkness. I couldn't make out any expression at all. <laughs> Run! Oh god, since I reached his breaking point, he shot his spear and took off behind me for the second part as fast as he could. Yuya, oh god, how does he ask? Why? Suddenly, he walked out to the land. He was neither concerned or not scornful. His face was a blank state. As soon as he reached my level, he bent down and began to mimic Kayama's body. When he got out and entered the drop, he picked up from the air and no stand look at him as he started to break down the fighter's form. Guys, the music stopped. Then there he was right behind me. And in the and in, in his hands was Shimada's huge knife, the one that was last seen jerking from Shimada's armor. He was still dripping with his blood. <sighs> Toko, can I kill you? That's what Yuya wants to say to you, Toko. This only made matters more complicated. How could I doubt Yuya's kid when he was holding something like that? Why did he, he even have it? How could he possibly bring himself to pull a knife from his friend's lifeless corpse? But I wasn't going to run. I turned around and I braced myself. I opened my mouth intently on discussing this rationally. And for your information, Toko, Yuya is not rational. If I ran away now, I felt like it would be all over. There would be nobody left to save, no one left to trust. But what could I, what could I, what could I possibly say to him? Ah, oh, I see a choice. Right, in this choice, 
it didn't matter whether you put that or that. The conversation is still the same. So yeah. Are you alright? Let's put that. Are you alright? My mommy was still visibly shaggy and I doubt I do have much of a voice if I try to talk. Okay. But I just wanted this all to be all the best mistakes of it. I knew I had to say something. I knew I had to get through to him. Maybe he was just freaking out on his own ways. He saw his feelings as the taxi for all of his humans. And you as only human. He must have been terrified. No, he's not. He's not terrified. And maybe I could help him get him through it. Get him to talk about what's bothering him and feel a little better. It was worth a shot. At least. Hugh. Kirisaki, Urabe to Oka wa doko da? Deran. Doste? I want to kill them. What else do you want me to say? No, I say just stop muttering to yourself and slowly walk right past me as if I weren't even there. Hugh, what are you doing? What are you doing? You're going to die. No, I couldn't let this go on. I got hit by the house that just clung to him, putting my fur leg on his body to keep him from going any further down the hallway. Okay, that's one. How about the other choice? I think just try to make another safe. Uh, sorry. So we gotta load and hear back. Let's see. Is this still the same still the same or not? Why did you do it? <laughs> my body was still visible shuddering and my voice my voice was breaking. I unconsciously taken an accusation that I thought with him, to with him, which was not at all but what I wanted to say, but it was too late to take it back now. I hope he didn't notice, but he did. As soon as the word why slipped from my lips, his eyes glazes over. It was as if the warm and compensation I see there before was step and drain, leaving behind nothing more than an empty container. Holy shit. There, he just started muttering to his side, slowly walked right past me as if I were even there. I grab him by the wall and just try to him. Oh, the same dialogue. So I think the, the only dialogue change was that one, right? So let's just... I wonder if there's any changes in dialogue. I grab him by the way. He was at the crossroads about walking down a path of no return. I wasn't going to lose the kind considering you yeah, I have fallen for. Unfortunately, the only tools I had at my disposal for stopping me were my feelings, and those just were going to be tough. Ah! Yuya, you punch her? Oh, so sorry that it took me a moment before I even figured out what happened. You wanna get bitch? You want me to kill you? See Yuya face. I'm going to kill you, Toko. Onajida, koko dewa. That was the first time in my entire life that I've ever been punched in the head, and he put everything here into it. I could focus, my memory was still rattling inside my skull from the impact. The world was, the world was spinning. I look at it with spasmodic, twitchy, tear filled eyes. There was no sign of remorse or compassion whatsoever. He looked like a feudal warrior, clutching his swords and staring down at his, at his enemy. At his enemy. 
The area all around my eyes was throbbing. It hurt so badly. I felt so small and sore. I couldn't even imagine what it must have looked like. And it wasn't done. It wasn't done with me. He got it closer and closer, grinding unnaturally as he raised his fist for a second time. That infirmary was a bad idea. Kizami did the pursuit, not right away. He was just stood there staring. Staring at the suit that I dropped on the ground. Staring intensely as if trying to make out what he was saying. Haka. You ate her teeth? What the heck? Is your teeth a metal? I know it's long already. Bear with me. There didn't seem to be any way to lock the door from the inside. There didn't seem to be any way to lock the door from the inside. 
I need to find a hiding place before you are show out the corner of the room, under the bed, maybe? I was scanning every inch of the room as quickly as possible, sizing up my surrounding. My eyes stuck on one of the medical shelves. <laughs> and that scissor you used to kill Satoshi Mochida. It felt like such a revelation, like an answer I was looking for, but what was I going to do with the scissors? Was I going to fight, fight who you are? Yeah, I wouldn't stand a chance. I decided to leave them there. I stepped back and clutched down the behind the part this shining screen that was set up in the middle of the room. <laughs> the end already? Oh, you with this stupid gay boy, Okawa! Run and run back to the bar rules on the third floor to warn Okawa about the imminent, in imminent threat that was approaching. And surely he was still crouching on his arms, credibly cutting our sliceless head in his, in his arms. You really are a sick boy, Okawa. And he was still suddenly insisting that if he were to leave that spot, he had to carry Katayama's with him. Mario! It's the same part just now, I think, where the Emmy scream. So this is why I when Toko was downstairs, right? What was the stop of foolish man? I had enough. I decided I ripped Katayama's body for Okawa's house and kicked it down the stairs. I think this is Kizami. It meant one hand on the top when he hit the landing, but he was already there, so why did it matter? As long as he had to get Okawa's moving, I didn't care. See? Look, he's dead, so get your ass off of that floor and run. However, so those last few steps didn't quite go as bad. He tripped and fell quite hard next to Katayama. What a stupid Okawa! <laughs> oh, this is a flashback! <laughs> Kizami perspective. Okay, I can understand that now. I understand now. It's not a flashback. It's from Kizami's perspective. What was he thinking during the time like this? Koko de wa. Gakkou ni koro sareru no. Ore ni koro sareru no onaji ってことか. And that's why Kizami made up his mind. I'm going to kill you. Rose. This chapter. Well done, my son. Well done. I think Toko Kirisaki is she Seiko Yoshida. I'm going to check out later on.
a very good game. A very good game. Chapter 7 clear. Yay! Prolo Plato is now playable. So I guess that was good enough for the So guys, as always, we are going to do blood type full okay i'm going to do full on those part right yeah it's quite long because yeah it's a prologue actually so guys as always thank you for watching my video my video is just for fun don't take high brothers and sisters okay let's say the magic word adios e famosa tuning next time on the last episode